okay good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition today we are going to be designing a three meter cantilever retaining wall okay so from the instruction i have the start the height of the stem is three meters the length of the tomb is one meter while the length of the heel is three meters also so we are going to model it easily on start pro connect edition so the first thing we do now is you can bring out our beam grid yes so pick any point can pick this point and go the height is three meters yes then turn it off and turn it on again okay then i have the two then i also have my heel okay i'm good to go now so there are two ways of designing a cantilever retaining one on start break i either design it as a beam or as a plate so in this lesson i'm going to design it as a plate so I have this. So the next thing I will do is I light it, then translational repeat in the Z direction. So we are designing it for every one meter like slab, every one one meter. So default spacing, one meter and link step. Okay. So we have this retaining wall. So this is these are made with beams, but we are going to remove the beams when we create the plate. So the first thing we do is add our plate. So as usual, you can only add your plate either clockwise or anti-clockwise okay so you can see your plate orientation yes okay then okay so you can see your plate orientation so after doing that you can turn it off if you are satisfied with the orientation if not you can also delete and change it or you can change the incidences okay turn it off so the next thing i do now is assign property so for my stem thickness, I'm going to use 0.3. Add. Then for my the thickness of my heel and my toe, I'm going to use 0.35. So use cursor to assign. Assign one, two. Then for this, I'm going to use cursor to assign this here. Okay. So you can see our structure in 3D. So right click, 3D rendering. Okay. So you can look at the beams here also. So we are not using the beams. We are going to delete the beams. So go back to geometry. Change it to your beam cursor. Alight the whole structure and delete. So 10 beams associated. Yes, delete. So going back, you can see your 3D structure. So view. 3D rendering. So you can see it. So you can see your two, the heel and the stem. Okay. Now under from question my arises how do you get a tapered cantilever like you want to taper the top then to taper the top you just have to work with these node two three and four so you just keep iterating to get what you want okay so i'm done with that next thing i do now is to assign the support we'll go to support so since we have plates here i'm not going to use the normal fixed foundation but before we do that let's create some mesh so on this right click generate plate mesh quadrilateral okay 12 sorry 12 i want to divide this part by four this also 12 this also four okay yes right click generate plate mesh quadrilateral okay first one is 12 next one is four next one is 12 and next one is four you can choose any so don't forget the smaller the um mesh sizes the more accurate your results are so apply then this this will be four 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 okay so this is square four 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 apply okay so i'm done with that so the next thing i'll do now is i'll go to my support create and i can see i'm not going to use fixed piece or any i'm going to choose foundation because i want to model it how it's going to behave in, in real life so the next thing i'll do is choose elastic mats then direction y direction this is going down then my subgrade modulus now to get your subgrade modulus there are formulas but and there's also a short course so there's this textbook written by um boils that is foundation analysis and design Bowles. so this is it you can pick the range of your subgrade modulus you can pick the range here or if you don't want to pick it if you want to be more accurate you can use this formula to design so this is 40 times factor of safety times the qa that is your soil bearing capacity so you use it and you are good to go okay so in this case we are going to we are assuming our soil is a is dense sand and we are assuming an average value let's assume hundred thousand 
so we can use hundred thousand so go back to our start pro now modulus hundred thousand okay so we are done with this then the next thing i do now is go to the front view select node cursor okay i like the bottom nodes then assign to selected nodes assign okay so display structure yes okay so we are done with this now you can see it is going to behave like something like a raft foundation that's how it's going to behave then the next thing we do is we go to our loading so in this case we just assume we have only one loading which will factor so let's just give the name um dead add close okay so on that day, the most important load is the cantilever return what should be able to carry itself with so self weight. Then after that, we have plate load. So for our plate load, we have for the um the first value we have for my calculation is we have we have assumed our um heel and toe is submerged into the ground, so one meter high and the density of the unit weight of soil is 19 kN per meter cube. So 1 meter times 19 kN per meter cube will give you 19 kN per meter square. So I'm using the value of 19 for my heel and toe. Add. So let me assign it. Okay, assign this to view. Let me assign it one by one so it doesn't confuse us. Okay. Then the next thing is view. Go to the front view. Select your heel and toe. Okay. And see it. Make sure everything is selected. Assign to selected plates. Okay, so we have done that. Now this is submerged. Now the next thing is we need um a load on the hill only. That is the backfill on the hill again. So that will be 19 times 3. So 3 of this length. That is 57 plates. So this, I have 57. Now some people are wondering why I'm not putting minus 57. If I'm putting minus 57, then I'll be using GY. So everything is a function of my local Z axis. So add close. So I'm going to assign this to this. Okay. Then I light this base node. Okay. Assign to selected plates. Assign. Okay, so you can see the 57. Yes. Now the next load I am going to apply. Is going to be a load on my stem so we are going to have a, tri a triangular load and also um horizontal load due to the backfill so first load i'm going to do now is add so to get that it's going to be 3.3 .3 times one so that will give me my value so please and the 3.3 .3, i got it from one minus sine five over one plus sine five the formula then you get your values and you are good to go so 3.33 add so the next one i'm going to assign now will be the trapezoidal load but let me assign this to this so i light this or there are two ways of alighting it you can either go to select plate parallel to so it's parallel to yz so plate parallel to yz new view okay so this assign to view now you can see it's going this direction, it's supposed to go the other way, so I'll change it to negative. Negative. Modify. Okay, so you can see it. So the next one is going to be the trapezoidal load. So add. And we're going to have a trapezoidal load. So instead of that, I can use the hydrostatic load. So I'll go straight to plate. Then hydrostatic. So to use the hydrostatic load, select plate. And to select plate, it's just this stem. So I'll just select this and done. So minimum is going to be minus 18.98. I expect you should know how to, I got most of these values because no time to explain and zero. So interpolate along the Y local Z. Yes. So add close. Now so you can see the triangular load. How it to behave. Triangular load. Okay. So we are good to go. Then the next thing I'll do now is to factor my load. So we'll go back to view display structure load factor. So go back to loading this rather add so it defines so I'm just going to use a factor of 1.5 1.5 add close so you can see 1.5 of this load okay so the next thing I'll do now is go to my analysis define command add close run analysis then let's see if we have any error
so zero error zero one is zero node so you can go to our post processing okay so i'm really interested in this so i'll remove this okay now I'll go to my plate results and choose mx and i can start with my maximum absolute so i can see the absolute yes it's telling me it's quite stressed so we walk back on it can go back and increase the thickness then go to my mx so in my mx i have a value of 59 that is yes among this place i need this cantilever so i need to um put more reinforcement here then i can also taper this it doesn't really matter but this is where i need my reinforcement so i have a reinforcement uh, moment of 59 kilonewton meter yes in the m1 let me see my plates results in the torsional direction mxy so i can see 2.69 okay so that's about three so if i add it together that is calculator calculator okay so three plus 59 will give me 62 so total moment is 62 kilonewton now we have that you gotta figure that we start pro so let's use the manual method to cross check so to, to use your manual method let me open paint using manual method okay so now paint is open so the first thing i'll do now is to get my value so the first value i'm going to get will be my three point sorry three point three three times three square over two don't forget this is the formula for cant um, for cantilever like to get the moment of a cantilever so approximately this should give me 15 okay plus for the trapezoidal load trapezoidal load is 18 sorry triangular load rather 18.98 times 3 times 3 rather into brackets everything divided by 2 should give me approximately 29 so when i add these two values together 15 plus 29 i should get 44 15 plus 29 i should get 44 times 1.5 that's the factor of safety 1.5 so I should get 66. So I can see that using the manual method, I'm getting within the range of Start Pro. So thank you very much for watching today's video on Start Pro. Please, if you have any question, please make sure you drop it in the comment section. Thank you very much.